Internet. I'm here with Chris and Query. We're going to be doing 40k battle report today. Chris has brought out his Lion's Blade Strike Force. Yeah, my Dark Angels. Yeah, and Query, you're running. I'm using just Chaos Space Marines. A very sexy Chaos Space okay. Marine army, though. So, playing 1850 points, we're going to be doing a uh, mission from Capital City Bloodbath, which is coming up. So, ITC style stuff, ITC comp, all that jazz. So, we'll come back with a quick overview of the two armies, and then we'll go into deployment and start the game. Okay, we are here with Chris's Dark Angels. Chris, give us a walkthrough of your list. All right, so we've got two demi battle companies here. We got two five man assault squads. We've got a um, uh, grav pistol in each one of those. We've got three ten man tactical squads with their free transports. There is a chaplain with one of these. It's going to go with a combat squad somewhere. These plasma cannons are all combat squatted out. Um, there is melted guns in each one of them. Um, we have three five-man tactical squads here, each with melted guns. Two devastator squads. Um, you're going to see a lot of proxies here. There's some chaos marines in this Dark Angels army. They're painted green. It's fine. Kind of ironic. Um, everything's got the devastator squads have three plasma cannons and a last cannon in each. We have two. Uh, land speeders, one with a multi melt and an assault cannon, another one with a heavy bolter and an assault cannon. And for HQ choices here, we've got a squad of veterans with their uh, with a melt gun, a company master, and Azrael because he's a badass. All right, we'll be back and take a look over Queries Chaos. All right, we are back with Cleary's Chaos. Give us a walkthrough of your army there. All right, so this is 1850 count as normal Chaos Space Marines, despite the uh, very 30k look to it. So, uh, Kurz is count as Abaddon, um, with three five-man chosen squads with five plasma guns. I have a 10-man Zinch Terminator squad. Uh, there's five power axes, four power fists, and one chain fist on the sergeant. They have a Spartan. Um, which has armored ceramite, um, dirge casters, and uh, the legacy of ruin uh, streams of Luganeth, I think it's called. And then also malefic ammunition for the heavy bolter. And then I have a uh, Sakaran, which has the two last cannon sponsons, dirge caster, I gave it destroyer blades as well, and uh, malefic ammo for its heavy bolter. And that's it for me. All right, nice and small, but nasty. Mm -hmm. We'll be back after deployment. All right, we are here after deployment. Over on Chris's side here, we've got all of the rhinos and the land speeders and everything. So it's a devastator squad here. Yep. Another one in those ruins there. And then tax squads as far as the eye can see. And Azriel is in the actual Dark Angels rhino there. Well, oh, modified predator. Yeah. And we've got the dice dice on top just to mark which squad is with which. Then on Query's side here, it's two different squads here. Yeah, two So squads two five-man squads chosen. Yeah. Then we've got all the Terminators and Abaddon and the Spartan. Mm -hmm. And over on the far side here, we've got another unit of Chosen and the Sakaran. Yeah. So for objectives, we're playing Crusade. So with this mission, it's two objectives for each player. So number one is here. There's a number one over there as well just because we ran out of number one markers. <laughs> and then we've got a two here, and another two I think in the ruins. that's supposed to be his one. That's supposed to be his two, I think. Ah, okay, yeah. Confusion. So we'll swap, yeah. swap those around, yeah, because one needs to be in his deployment zone. So with that, Chris opted to deploy first and go first. So Cleary, if you'd like to seize, no. let's get the roll. No. Oh! oh. No. Excellent. And there's okay. a seize. All right. Oh, no. We will be back at the end of Dark Angels. Uh, pardon me, not Dark Angels. Chaos Space Marines, turn one. Right. We are here at the end of Chaos Space Marines, turn one. Cleary, walk us through what happened well, here. Well, uh, moving over here, I'm my Spartan up 12. I uh, powered the mission, speared the quad last cannon at his uh, land speeder who jinked. And between the quad last cannon and the snap frying, every bolter inflicted one hull point on it and blew off the assault cannon. And then uh, all my infantry kind of stayed where they were. And way over here, this Karen uh, killed this rhino for first strike uh, for me and for one of my Melchior objectives. All right, everything else just stayed stationary for the chosen squads. 
So with that, we are going into Dark Angels turn one. Bottom of turn one for Dark Angels. Chris, walk us through what happened. Uh, we moved up a little bit. Everybody's just kind of pushing forward slowly here. Uh, we took some pot shots at people. We did absolutely no damage except for a single chosen in the back corner there. And uh, all in all, it was completely useless. All right, what did you have for objectives? You needed to kill a unit and get line breaker. And didn't get either. Didn't get either of those. And query, you had? I had to uh, kill a unit and I had to secure either objective two. All right, so you got, I got one, of them. one of them. All right, so going into turn two for chaos. All right, end of chaos, Space Marines. Turn two, walk us through it. All right, so just starting over here, my uh, four-man chosen squad shot at his multi-melta land speeder and killed it. Um, these guys didn't do anything. The smooth six and pivoted and disgorged its crew. Uh, I tried to shoot the rhino up over here to uh, make it lose its guys, and it didn't quite work out just because of uh, snap firing and stuff. Then I tried to assault the assault marines and got greedy and failed the charge. And then uh, just over here, the Sakharin killed the uh, assault marine squad that was in the open. And uh, that's it for me. All right, and we're going into Dark Angels turn two. All right, we are here at the end of Dark Angels turn two. Chris, tell us about all the fun things that happened. Um, took a, put a good dent in those chosen over there with the land speeder. Uh, we moved up, blocked line of sight, and disembarked on this objective here. Um, this uh, rhino moved up to block line of sight and disembarked. This rhino moved up and disembarked. These guys are just chilling, taking pot shots at stuff. Um, this rhino moved up and disembarked, trying to block line of sight again. Um, we did nine wounds with plasma cannons into the Terminator squad, and uh, actually only took two. He saved everything <laughs> on else saves. on four plus saves because screw you probability. Um, <laughs> oh, don't worry. Don't worry. There was justice. <laughs> and then I charged in with my assault marines. I had like three left after Overwatch. Abaddon slaughters them all and then unfortunately has now been transformed into a demon prince. I got my wounds back. You got your wounds back, yeah, but no more, no more crazy weapons. So he's a demon prince with every mark now. Uh, we're just gonna keep using the same model because it's badass, yeah. and it's—I yeah. think it's close enough to the right base size. Anyway, yeah. So. Well, it works. It's smaller, but he's in power armor. And yeah. Cinematic base. It works. It works. Nonetheless, it was an interesting turn. All right. And what did you guys have for your objectives for this turn? I had three and two. So you needed to kill a unit and hold an objective two. You have that. Have you didn't kill two. anything. I had. So you got three, one point. Four. You need to kill two units, which I believe you did. Yeah, I killed uh, assault marines, I killed a rhino, right, and I and killed a land speeder, and like, uh, just, yeah. All right. So that's two points for Chaos and one point for the Dark Angels. And we will be back at the end of Chaos turn three. We are here at the end of Chaos turn three. Cleary, walk us through it. All right, so starting over here, I have my two-man squad moved up to shoot the land speeder. I overheated twice and missed a third time, so I only put one glancing hit on it. These guys were pinned, so they couldn't do anything. Uh, the Spartan shot his Devastator squad and killed three of the five guys with uh, the last cannons and the heavy lifters and stuff. Over here, I charged his, uh, multi-charged the Rhino and the five-man squad and the chaplain. Uh, Demon Abaddon killed everyone but the chaplain. And I failed two arm saves from the chaplain uh, in the challenge with my chain fist sergeant, so lost two terminators there, but you know, making up for all the involved saves earlier on. <laughs> uh, and then moving down here, the Sakharin shot at his uh, plague marine squad of Dark Angel guys, and I missed a lot and ended up killing two of them. All right. And, uh, yeah. Okay, with that, we're into Dark Angels turn three. Okay, we're here at the end of Dark Angels turn three, and just something we didn't clarify earlier, but uh, did actually happen. Uh, the Chaos version of the Spartan Assault Tank does not have power of the Machine Spirit, so that was re-rolled yeah, a couple turns we ago. We did it. Uh, yeah. So, 
all taken care of. Just wanted to make sure it was noted. Okay, Chris, walk us through your turn three here. All right, so I needed line breaker, but didn't want to give up the uh, the blocking line of sight and cover here. So I moved the rhino that was here up to there and move the rhino that was here up to here and disembark. So this is pretty solidly held. These guys pretty much sat where they were. They've got an objective here. They fired plasma cannons at uh, the squad over here. Um, didn't really do any damage. Uh, this guy fired his plasma cannon to this squad. Didn't really do a whole lot. I think we lost one or two terminators from the awesome. plasma cannons. Um, More plasma cannon fire, lots of plasma cannon fire from everybody. They all just kind of <laughs> sat there. Uh, we got this guy blocking line of sight here. Then we charged into the Terminators with Azrael and his veterans. The veterans were pretty promptly chewed up by Overwatch and Terminator attacks, but Azrael himself and the company master did not take any wounds. So they're still fighting strong and We'll see what happens in the next turn. Hopefully they can muster up enough attacks to finish off these uh, Terminators. All right, and what were your objectives this turn? Um, I had one and five. I had Line Breaker. Yeah, and Hold and an Objective One. Hold an Objective One. With both you got that. Got. And Clear? I have the exact same one, so I got my objective one. Yeah, that's it for that. All right, so one point for Chaos and two points for Dark Angels. And we'll be back with Chaos Space Marines turn four. Here at the end of Chaos Space Marines turn four, what happened? So over here, uh, my Spartan moved around, uh, the dudes embarked onto him, and he uh, snapshot into the Rhino and I stunned it. Uh, over here, Demon Prince Abaddon moved up. Um, the combat, I inflicted three wounds onto his three remaining guys. He filled all of his impulse saves, so his characters exploded, but he did kill one of the Terminators in return. And over here, uh, my Sakaran moved up uh, past the dangerous terrain for going to the area terrain and killed uh, three three guys or so out of that squad. And that's uh, it for Chaos Turn 4. No, yeah. only you, I lost Azrael. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. mentioned all your characters. Azrael, right? Company Master. All right, and with that, we're into Dark Angels Turn 4. We're here at the end of Dark Angels Turn 4. Chris, give us a quick recap. All right, just kind of reposition stuff over here to block line of sight and movement paths and such. Um, did a number of wounds on the Demon Prince here. He's almost dead. Yep, one left. Um, took out the Terminators finally. A couple of lucky plasma cannon blasts. Uh, took them out and a melt -a gun. And that's about it. I moved these, I took these guys out of cover here. They're rushing for an objective. We're hitting towards the end of the game here. So uh, just moving for objectives to try and score as many points as possible. All right, and what were your objectives this turn, guys? Uh, mine was make sure he doesn't have any units in my deployment zone and have three of my own scoring units in there. All right, so. And uh, get something into his deployment zone. So very tricky ones for me. Yeah, so no points for query this turn. And Chris? Uh, five and six. Five and six, so you had to get line breaker, which you have, and you did for query not to have line breaker, which you also got. So two points to use, so six to four now. Nice. All right, and with that, we are going into Chaos Space Marines turn five. All right, end of Chaos Space Marines turn five, Cleary. Give us, uh, give us a walk through right, here. So what happened, my uh, duders disembarked from the side axis hatch, went through the walls, and uh, launched an assault. So my demon prince coming around from this flank here, and uh, I killed one guy in combat went from shooting, he combined and doing the challenge, so we just kind of sat there. Uh, Demon Prince sank through the other squad, unsurprisingly. Uh, consolidated closer to his other objective. And over here, I killed his rhino with the plasma guns and uh, a guy with the uh, Sakaran. So, uh, it's that. And uh, going on to possibly the last turn of the game. All right, we will be back with Dark Angels turn five, possibly the last one. The end of Dark Angels turn five. Chris, what happened? Uh, we wiped out the Demon Prince over here. We just bubble wrapped the objective over here. We continued fighting here and I lost one Marine. They failed their morale check, but they know no fear and the chaos caught them. So they just kind of stand there with their thumbs up their butts. <laughs> All right, so if the game ends here, 
Chris, I believe you win on primary and secondary right now. So let's see. On a three up, the game continues. Give it a roll. One more turn, going into turn six for Chaos. End of Chaos, turn six. Cleary, what happened? Well, over here, I drew the uh, Spartan train, shot the land speeder, uh, snap the entire time, so nothing happened. Uh, nothing happened in combat here. Uh, I tried to tank shock through the wreck vehicle and immobilize myself, so that was fun, but I still managed to gun down some Space Marines, and uh, they did not fill their morale check. So, that's all that happened on this turn. All right, going into Dark Angels, turn six. Another potential end to the game, end of Dark Angels six. Chris, it was pretty uneventful, but give us a quick recap. I uh, just repositioned some troops to keep them out of line of sight and keep them within range of objectives. I uh, tried to move this combat squad out of this building here, and their difficult terrain went fine. They rolled a five, but when they went to run, they tripped over their feet and <laughs> smashed their faces in the mud. Clearly, they need to go back to boot camp. So they only ran one inch and didn't quite make it there. I was afraid this combat would end badly, but everybody just kind of hugged each other and did nothing. So it Tickle stayed fight. the same way as it did last time. All right. And do you want to roll this time? Yeah, give it a roll, Cleary. Ooh, turn oh, seven. Turn seven. That's All right. Interesting. Chaos Space Marines, turn seven. Last turn of the game. The okay, end of Chaos Space Marines, turn seven. What do we got? So, uh, Spartan tank shocked its way over there and pushed back the encroaching squad. Uh, killed one of the Devastators with the snap firing quad glass cannon. Uh, that's it. Just a heavy mold turn missed. Uh, in this combat, we each killed one of our respective guys. Moving over here, the Chosen shot at one of the combat squads worth of guys and uh, get past the saves. And the only part that could see from the Karen, uh, the one last Karen sponsor missed. So that's it. All right. Into the bottom of seven for Dark Angels, the last turn of the game. Okay, we are here at the end of the game. For objectives, we've got one for Dark Angels, we've got two for Dark Angels, over there we've got one for Chaos Space Marines in the building, and then we have one contested here. So on the primary, it's a win for Dark Angels. For secondary, Chris, what did you have? You had to kill a unit and hold objective one. You have an objective one, so you get one point, which puts you at nine, I believe. Yep. And you had the same thing? Yep. So you're at five? I'm at like six now. Six, okay. So that's a win on primary for, uh, sorry, yeah, win on secondary for Dark Angels as well. And tertiary, query, you had First Blood. Uh, yeah, and Warlord. And Chris, you have Line Breaker. So, and Warlord. So it's a tie on tertiary. So overall, a win to the Dark Angels. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent, so I think we saw a really good result from the, uh, was it Lion's Blade Strike Force, the yeah. battle company thing? Yeah, was good. I, was, I was very impressed, just so many Marines on the table, and it's just, at, at the end of the day, you can't kill them all. And literally everything having objective secured is pretty nasty. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned on the channel for more battle reports.